Hi, my name is Dallin and I'm a third year medical student. Today I wanted to talk about how my NBME scores as well as my UWorld Sim scores correlated with my final step one score. Uh, I know when I was taking this exam, I was very nervous to see how my practice exams were gonna correlate with my actual exam because this is a one and done. Unlike the MCAT, if you're not happy with your score on step one, as long as you pass, that's the store, score you're gonna get stuck with. And this is important because it's going to be what determines what kind of residency program you can go to and what kind of specialty that you can choose. Uh, and unfortunately, it actually follows you into fellowship as well, both directly and indirectly. By that, I mean that they still look at your step one score if you're going to go to into cardiology and the level of rep is the ranking of the residency that you went to, which was dependent on your step one score, um, will also play into that. So it's, it's a big test. It warrants a lot of stress because uh, the stakes are very high. And so I just wanted to share with you all uh, how I ended up doing on my MBMEs and UWorld uh, Sims. Uh, what I'll do for each of the eight MBMEs and the two sims that I took is I'll talk briefly about where I was at in my studying and what I was doing up until that point. So with that, let's go ahead and dive into those test scores. All right, so here you can see the first test that I took was required by my school and it was after the summer of my first year. I failed it. Uh, as you can see, I got a 157. At this point, what I was doing was only going through questions and I was only going through questions of material that we had already covered in school. I hadn't started any note cards yet. Uh, I wasn't even really reviewing material. I was just trying to do around 10 to 15 questions a day. Uh, the next was also required by my school. At this point, I was starting to do flashcards, and these flashcards were uh, through RX. I was still do only doing RX questions at this point. I hadn't even bought UWorld, and fortunately, I had passed the exam, and I was, I was actually pretty happy about this in the state that I was at. Um, the 252 that I had gotten was from my UWorld Sim 1. I, I took that right as my dedicated period started. At first, I was very excited, and then I went online on Reddit and read that... Um, you world is actually uh, tends to over predict your score. So then I was uh, more sad that I didn't do better. Uh, so then I took uh, form 17 just five days later and I got a 238. Now this was pretty frustrating to me because it's not definitely not where I wanted to be at. Uh, there was still a lot of reviewing that I was doing at this time. And so then I, I, I wanted to originally take three tests a week, but this was pretty demoralizing and it made me feel like I needed to, to study quite a bit more. Uh, so I took the whole week and just studied my flashcards that I had made from first aid. Um, and the next week I did better, I got a 248. Now this was a score that I was happy with. Um, I, I, I knew I didn't really care if I went into plastic surgery, so I knew I didn't need above a 250 and I was happy above anything above a 245. So here I was, I was okay with my score. Uh, and then I ended up taking quite a bit of time off just to study flashcards at this point because I felt like I really was lacking in my knowledge base and not really questions. So I took a few weeks off, only studied my flashcards, went through the entire first aid and basically memorized it and came back and got a 242. I was crushed. I mean, I, I remember slamming my fist on the table being like, are you kidding me? I've worked so hard and my score went down instead of up and not down by a little bit, down by six points. Uh, so I took a few more days and then ended up coming back, got a 250 on the next exam. That definitely lifted my spirits. I decided to take, um, sin, or actually I did the UWorld question bank. I was scoring around the 80, 80th percentile is what I think I ended up doing. I started out in the 40s. Uh, before dedicated, I was in 73% correct. And then by the end of dedicated, I was averaging 85% to 100% correct on all of the question blocks that I was doing. So I finished that around April 19th. And that was the estimated score um, done by a, a, Reddit a Reddit calculator that I'll link in the description. Uh, so then I took you World Sim 2 on April 20th. My exam was the 25th. Uh, I got a 267, ecstatic. I knew even if this was an overestimation, it wasn't going to overestimate my exam by 17 points. A 250, that is, gets you anywhere you want to go, and I was super stoked. So then I took uh, Form 16 on the 23rd. I got a 265, and I knew I was done. This was perfect. I was peaking at the right spot. I was ready for my exam on the 25th. Now, I will say this, when you get into these higher numbers, I knew it was gonna be highly variable, and this is why. I had only missed eight questions to get a 265. 
eight out of the 200 questions on the sim or on, on the uh, f form 16 and that's what I got was a 265 now you can fact check me on this I, I need I mean I'm not 100% sure but I remember it being around eight it might have been 10 but I, I'm pretty sure it was eight questions that I missed on the whole 250 and it might have even been less than that so when you see people scoring in the 260 above 260 265 270 range that means that they probably only missed a handful of questions on their entire exam which is super super impressive and it is exam dependent i think shooting for a 250 is actually reasonable and shooting for a 240 and above is even more reasonable and it should be consistently attainable as you can see after march 18th i never scored below a 240 so even though if i wasn't my exam or i wasn't doing good that day i still was able to score above a 240 and then finally on my exam day i scored a 259 more than happy with that um and with that being said, uh, any questions that you guys have or any further information that you would like, please go ahead and free to email me or uh, comment in the um, comments below. And if you haven't seen my step one video, uh, go ahead and check what I did on like the broad strokes of what I did to study. Uh, go ahead and check out that video here. And then also if you are interested in how I made my flashcards, um, how I turned first aid into an Anki deck, go ahead and check out that video here.